Hello, I'm Anastasia Snyder, an Associate Professor of Human Development and Family Science at Ohio State University. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about some of the kind of maladaptive coping strategies people engage in as a result of economic crises within the family, and then some suggestions for how to adapt better, better coping skills. One of the things that is difficult about economic crises is that it results in stress, and we need to deal with that stress somehow. If we don't acknowledge it, Mentally, it's going to come out physically. And so one of the things that often happens is people engage in maybe too much drinking more than normal, maybe too much smoking or turn to smoking when they hadn't in the past, might skip on sleep because they're very stressed out, those kinds of maladaptive things. Skip exercise because you just can't focus on that right now. And one of the best pieces of advice um, to get you through a period of economic crisis is to just try to keep your life and your routine as normal and usual as possible. That includes getting an adequate amount of sleep, eating a reasonably healthy diet if that's what you do normally, trying not to turn to alcohol or other drugs to help you cope because in the short run that might feel good but in the long run it will not do you any good. And you know just kind of trying to live a normal life with the routine, with the schedule, exercising, those kinds of things. Not only will this provide adults with a better coping strategy, but it also models good behavior for children in the family. You really want to make sure that um, and understand that children are going through a stressful situation too and keeping this normal routine with good coping strategies will be better off for you in the long run and it will be better off for your children in the long run and overall your family well-being in general.